Chisholm, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Lasko Pra Ebimia Emmanuel. And standing beside me here is Brother Boy Private Wilson Samuel Ebimia. And I joined this great ministry in the year 2016. And I want to thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, with your permission, let me sing a song to glorify this great God. President General among the nation. You are the president general among the nation. God of choosing, I salute you. President general among the nation. Father, salute you. President general among the nation. Amen. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this great God. For what he has done for me and my son. You mean it's your son standing beside you? Yes, sir, it's my son. Wow. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God for granting this my son wonderful admission into Nigeria Military School. Clap Zaria. your hands on the God of the chosen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before the admission came out, we fought battles. Battles upon battles. But it got to a point. My son had a dream and he told me, he said, Daddy, I had a dream. I said, what is it? He now said, he had a dream. He said, inside the dream, that uh, they called the list, the final list, and he said they could not call his name. And they said the second list, as they wanted to call the second list, with aggression, the commandant of the school, he picked up the, a list from his office and he came out and he said, this is the final list that you want to call. And he said, if you do not hear your name from this list, that the person is going home. He said, but the first name the commandant called was Wilson Samuel Ebimia, his name. Power. Susan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, after he called the name, he said, he woke up from the dream. I said, I told him, I said, our Gio told us that choosing people are first class. Do you yes. remember that? Yes. He said, yes. And the Bible said, I will make you the head, not the tail. Do you know that? He said, yes. I said, let's begin to glorify this God. He has done it. So we begin to praise God. We begin to praise God. And uh, before the finalists came out, I too had a dream. Inside the dream, I was in a senior officer's office and uh, he was he called somebody from abuja it's like the person came to collect the final list from him and he was giving directive to this person that came from abuja to collect the names and he said this name i am showing you he said if you go do as i have told you and when i peeped to look at the name it was my son's name hey. mr samuel Ebimie. amen choose and praise the lord hallelujah to plan it all the final list came out. As the final list came out, when I check, from every, every state, they shortlisted 7-7. Seven, seven. And out of the seven, from my state, my son's name was the first on the list. First class. <laughs> Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He confirmed it to us. And uh, he did it for us. May his name alone be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, my second testimony goes like this. Since then, he has been admitted in the school and he has been in the school peacefully until this last second term that just ended. I was in a burden for my studies. And uh, my phone rang when I called. When I answered the call, it was their school adjutant, and they said, are you the father of Wilson Samuel? I say yes, sir. He said, your son is sick. That we need your attention, that you should come. I told him, I said, sir, how is his health? He said, it's fine, but I need to come. But I told him, I said, I'm in a battle for studies. And he said, I should son somebody. I sent a soldier to 
meet them. And uh, the soldier called me and told me, said, Sir, the situation on ground, he said, it's not a medical issue. I said, how? He said, it's a kind of spiritual something. I said, how? I said, give my son the phone. Before he gave the, the phone to my son, he told me, said, your son fainted three times. And uh, he was holding his neck and saying that you cannot kill me. Leave me alone, you cannot kill me. I am a choosing. He, he, he told me, said, he was calling one name, but he said he don't understand the name. Not knowing that it was choosing, he was calling. So I said, give the phone to my son, I want to speak with him. So when he gave him the phone, I asked him. And he was telling me, he said, a woman appealed to him and told him that, how come that he, he entered this school? That somebody of his type cannot be in that school, cannot continue in that school. Why did I apply that school for him? That she will kill him. She said she's the one that killed one of his younger brother when we were in the village in 2013. She said she's the one that killed him and he said it was like a film. He was just watching it. How she strangled the neck of this younger brother and he died. And after he died, and she said she wanted to kill me too. And uh, she could not succeed. That is him that she wanted to kill. And after all, I applied this school for him that it's not possible that she would not allow him to study in that school. So I said it's a lie. I said that woman... She is playing the dangerous game. I said, don't worry, nothing will happen to you. So I prayed with him on phone, and I called my pastor in Kaduna, high bank in reason, and he prayed too. And he said, my son cannot die. Remember the word of God, that we, no choosing will die a day before his time. So your son right. cannot die. I said, yes, sir. So he prayed, and we continue praying, 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 until last, last, um, this month, I think it should be two weeks ago. I was writing an exam and they told me that I should come. That this one is very serious. I told them that I said, right now I'm, on, I'm writing an exam. They said I should send somebody. So I sent somebody to them, his guardian. And they told him, they told him something, but he refused to tell me. And he told them, he said, uh, he told me that uh, they insisted that I should come. I said, okay, when I finish my exam, I will come. So when I finished the exam, I went there. Immediately I went and uh, I got to the school and I asked, I'm the father of Wesley somewhere. They said, there's just rushing inside the hospital that I should go to the hospital. When I entered from the exam hall, he, fe he fainted and uh, they rushed him to the hospital. And I was, and I saw him, he was struggling, holding his neck and saying, leave me alone, you cannot kill me. I, I went there with apron. So I covered him with the apron and I began to pray for him. I begin to pray, I begin to pray. He was struggling, struggling. Leave me alone, he cannot kill me. He did not even know me. I prayed, prayed until like 30 minutes. He now recognized me. And I asked him. And he now told me, he said, This woman appeared to him. She has been tormenting him. And now she came with a group of people. And she said, Since he refused to die, that she will, she, will, she has many ways to kill him. She came with knife. And uh, the other people too came with knife that they want to hold him and stab him. So that they will remove his heart. And he now said, you cannot kill me because I'm a choosing. And before you know, he said, he was running. He was running and they were after him. And he said, stop. And he said, a, a voice came, came to him to stop. And he now stopped. He said, when he stopped, he faced them. As he faced them, he said, he was holding a stick. Is anybody knocked with the stick? We die and we turn to ashes. Is anybody knocked with the stick? We die and turn to ashes. And he got to this woman. And instead of him to knock him, knock her the stick, it's like he threw the stick at her and she fell down. She stood up again and told the rest of them that they should hold him, they should bundle him so that she can stab him. Immediately that. And meanwhile, I was holding him, praying for him. Why the apron is on his chest? And him too was struggling. As I was praying, this is what was happening. Why he was unconscious. So, instead, a kind of breeze lifted him up. And they were kind of jumping to touch him, but they could not touch him. So that was how the priest lifted him. They could not touch him again. And that was when he recognized me. He, he came back to life and he recognized me. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, this thing I'm telling you, what I saw with my eyes. Are there being one of you were, were there to witness what happened? Ah. Uh, I give glory to this God. Thank you, Lord. May his name alone be glorified forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, to crown it all, I want to thank this God. If not God of choosing, this my son might have been a dead person. But because God of choosing has been there fighting, 
God of chosen as we did, protecting him, that the woman could not succeed. So that is the reason of my testimony to this great God. Amen. Father, be glorified. Amen. I praise you, God. Amen. You are the President General. That's Receive right. all the glory, holy honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. At this I want to pray for my general pastor. This church, the Lord choosing, is mounting on top the mountain. Right. Anointing that has no hand. So I'll be the portion of our daddy in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. For every chosen one that is here, give us grace to do your will. So that we make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's give your son the microphone. Let him say something. At least praise the Lord. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you free now? I'm asking you, young man. Are you free now? Yes, I'm free, sir. You are free. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. You are free to go. You are blessed. I'm sure you are coming back with more testimonies. Praise the Lord. It pays to be a chosen. Imagine if the father was not a chosen. Imagine if the son was not a chosen. What do you think would have happened by now? The story would have been different. So be a chosen so that you will have testimony over your enemies. And your enemies will never testify over you in Jesus' name. The next 